In this video, we'll set up the problem that we'll solve in the next two videos, list decoding Reed Solomon codes up to the Johnson bound. So here's the problem. Suppose that this big blob here is all of fq to the n, and these red dots are the code words of some Reed Solomon code of dimension k and length n over fq. So let's c be that Reed Solomon code. So c is the Reed Solomon code over fq with evaluation points, let's say alpha 1 up through alpha n, block length n, and dimension k. We saw in a previous video that the list decoding problem was given some y equal to y1 dot 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 up to yn in fq to the n, we would like to find all of the code words c that are close enough to this received word y, in particular so that the relative Hamming distance between y and c is at most uh, something. We'll come back to that in a moment. So this was the list decoding problem. We are interested in algorithms to solve this, so we'd like to efficiently find all of those code words. Okay, so what should go in this blank? Let's take a look on our picture here. So suppose that y is like this. There's y. We know that if we look at a Hamming ball of radius 1 minus r divided by 2, where r equals k over n is the rate of the code, then there is at most one code word that lives in that ball. That's because the distance of Reed Solomon code of rate r is 1 minus r. And if I look at a Hamming ball of radius half the distance, I'm only going to see one code word in that ball. The point of list decoding is that I can look at a slightly bigger ball and hope that there are not too many code words in that slightly bigger ball. So I'm going to look at a slightly bigger ball, maybe it looks something like this, of some radius, and my goal here is to efficiently return all of these code words that live in that ball when I'm given y as input. Okay, so how big can this ball be for us to still hope to be able to do that? If the ball gets too big, then at some point it's going to contain exponentially many code words. We can't really hope for an efficient algorithm, a polynomial time algorithm, to return exponentially many things, because it would take an exponential amount of time just to return the output. So we should focus on a radius where we know that there's only, at most, a polynomial number of points in the ball. You might recall from a previous video that the Johnson bound gives such a radius. So the Johnson bound says, if we look at a radius 1 minus the square root of r, then we are guaranteed that there are at most a polynomial number of code words in this ball. So that sounds like a good goal to start with. So that's going to be our goal for the next couple of videos. We're going to put 1 minus the square root of r here and try to solve this problem. That is, given y, the center here, let's look at this ball of radius 1 minus root r in relative Hamming distance, and we want to efficiently return all of these points. We can phrase this problem equivalently in terms of polynomials. So equivalently, if we're given y, we'd like to efficiently find all of the polynomials of low degree that agree a lot with y. That is, we want to find all polynomials f over fq, so that the degree is at most k minus 1, and so that f of alpha i is equal to yi for at least square root of r times n values of i, where r, once again, is k divided by n, the rate of the Reed-Solomon code. If we can achieve this goal, we'll say that we can efficiently list decode Reed-Solomon codes up to the Johnson bound. In the next two videos, we will see how to achieve this goal.